All right, today we're going to go on a mission to find the best bank account in Canada. The best bank account in Canada. Now, in Canada, we have five major banks. We have other banks, a lot of banks, but there are five that are considered the major banks in Canada, okay? And those are these banks here. So CIBC, that is uh, the Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, CIBC. Here we have RBC, which is the Royal Bank of Canada. And over there we have BMO, which is Bank of Montreal, and TD, which is Toronto Dominion Bank, and Scotiabank. There. Okay, so which, which bank account is going to be the best? Now, first we have to define best. What, what do we mean by best? Well, maybe the best bank account is the one that's closest to your house. Okay, take a look at this map here, just a part of North Calgary. Okay, so you can see all these banks. Look at all of those. I mean, if you live over there, you know, maybe TD Bank would be the best bank for you to, uh, to you know, to open an account at. But if you live over here, you know, maybe, maybe Bank of Montreal would be better for you. So if that's important to you, if you like to go into the, the branch quite often, you know, maybe you should think about this. For me, I don't really, I never go into, into a branch, so it doesn't really matter. I do all my banking online. I think I go into a, a branch maybe two or three times a year. Okay, so, you know, you're going to find these banks all over Canada. So, if you're like me and you do your banking online, it probably doesn't matter. Because every city in Canada will have, I mean, there's a good chance, it doesn't matter where you live, you will find all of these banks somewhere near your house, not too far. Okay, so for me, best means the most benefits for the least amount of money. The most benefits for the least amount of money. Ideally, we want a lot of stuff, a lot of, you know, good, good stuff for free, right? We don't want to pay money for a bank account every month. But unfortunately, here in Canada, a lot of bank accounts charge a monthly fee. Okay, now that monthly fee is waived very often uh, with a minimum balance. Waived means they don't charge you the money. Okay, so you get it for free. Okay, so let's take a look at this example here. So this bank account is $15.95 a month. Okay, that's the monthly fee. But look at this. Uh, you, get, uh, you get the monthly fee waived if you have $4,000 in your account. If you have a minimum balance of $4,000, then the account is free. Wow. Actually, look at this. It's not waived. It's called a fee rebate. That means they're going to charge you, but then give it right back to you. Okay, so it's going to look like this. If you go into your online banking and see your statement, it's going to say withdrawals $15.95 uh, and then deposits $15.95. Okay, so I don't know why they do that. I don't know why they don't just waive it completely if you have $4,000. But you know what? Look at this little number here. You should always click on these. If you see these numbers, it, you should click on them and then it'll take you to the bottom of the page where you can read the fine print. Okay, so let's see what that says. It says minimum monthly balance indicated must be maintained at the end of each day in the month to qualify for the fee rebate. Okay, so what that means is you need to have 4000 all the time. If you drop under 4000 just one day, they're going to charge you 1595 for the whole month. Okay, so every day you need to have at least $4,000 in your account. But that's good, right? You, you should have $4,000. It's a good thing to have money in your account. You don't want to have like, like $5 in your account. That's bad. That means if something happens, if your car breaks down or something, that means you have no money, right? So it's good to have some money. So if you're going to have a few thousand dollars in your account anyway, it's good, you know, to get the fee rebated, right? Saving money is good. <laughs> it's a good thing to save money. Um, so if you have $4,000, that's a nice financial cushion for you, right? A financial cushion is, is some savings that, uh, you know, that you have in case something bad happens, in case some unforeseen 
challenges arise, you know, maybe your car breaks down or maybe your cell phone stops working and you need to go buy a new cell phone. Well, that's good. You have 4,000, right? You can, uh, you can buy a new phone, you can fix your car and you'll have to pay, <laughs> you'll have to pay $15.95 a month, right? Because you drop below the 4,000. Okay. A lot of people live paycheck to paycheck. Paycheck to paycheck means you get paid from your job and then you spend all the money and you don't have any money left for savings. Okay, that's not good. It's good to have a financial cushion. So if you're going to have $4,000 anyway, you may as well get the, a free account, right? Now, all the, the bank accounts in Canada are, are checking accounts. That's like the, the basic bank account that, that everybody has. So if you go to a bank and you open a bank account, that's called a checking account. Okay, and you will get a debit card that is linked to this account that you will use to buy everything or to go to an ATM and take out money. You'll use your debit card. Okay, that's your checking account. Now, there are also accounts called savings accounts here in Canada, which in my opinion are a bit useless. <laughs> I don't have a savings account because it's basically an account that gives you really low interest and it's not even worth it. It's like 1% interest, right? So if you save, if you save a hundred dollars next year, you will have made $1 a whole year just to make $1. I don't know. To me, it seems a bit useless. You know, most savings accounts, you can do like a few transactions, maybe like two or three transactions a month. And, uh, it's, I don't know, it's just, in my opinion, it's just a waste of time. So I don't have a savings account. You can just save money in your checking account, right? It's, it's a lot easier just to save money in there. But, you know, some people are really bad with their money. If they see money in their checking account, they just spend it right away. So I guess for some people, they need to physically move the money from here to here so that they can't spend it as easily. I mean, they could still spend it. I, I don't know. Some people just, some people find that, uh, that it's easier for them if they don't have money in the account, if they move it there. It's a bit ridiculous, but some people find that helpful. Okay. So one thing I want to mention is that in Canada, checking is spelled like this. Okay. In the U.S. it's spelled like this, but a lot of Canadians spell checking like this too. Okay. It's the same word. It's just in Canada, officially, we spell it like this, not like this. Okay, so uh, in this so in this video, we're going to take a look at, at just checking accounts. Okay, we're not going to take a look at savings accounts. We're not going to take a look at investments or anything. In the future, I'll make, I'll make lessons on those topics. But in this video, we're just trying to find the best checking account. Okay, here in Canada. If you're a newcomer to Canada, welcome here. I hope this video will help you, you know, find find the best account for you. Okay, so let's take a look at RBC first. RBC. Okay, the Royal Bank of Canada. So here are their accounts. It looks like they have four accounts. Okay, the the best account is over there. That is thirty dollars a month. Okay, so you have to pay thirty bucks a month. That's pretty expensive. And their cheapest one is four dollars a month. Okay, not too bad. Now, most banks in Canada offer the the minimum uh, the minimum balance, and then you get it for free, right? I was actually surprised when I was making this video uh, to find that RBC doesn't do that. Okay, it doesn't matter how much money you have in that account, you still have to pay thirty bucks a month. Now, I wanted to clarify this, so I actually called RBC. I called them and I said, hey, is it true that you guys don't offer any free accounts with a minimum balance? And they said, no, <laughs> they, they, don't, they don't offer. So even if you had a million dollars, if you put a million dollars with RBC, you still have to pay 30 bucks a month. And to me, that's just a bit, you know, that's, that's a lot of money. 30 bucks a month. That's $360 a year. $360 a year just to have a bank account what? <laughs> you know, it should be free. Um, so over here, you know, the, the, the minimum fee is only $4. That's not too bad. But you only get uh, 12 transactions. You only get 12 transactions. You know, you might want to do banking more often every day. And maybe 12 isn't enough for you. 
So after the 12, you're going to have to pay money for every transaction uh, you do. So in, in my opinion, this is, is not great. It seems like RBC is nickel and diming their customers. Nickel and diming. Do you know what that means? I made a video recently on the meaning of that. Nickel and dime means to charge people small amounts of money for this and that. And it's, it's not a good thing. People don't like it. So to me, it seems like RBC is nickel and diming their customers. There's no way to avoid the monthly... There's a loud plane flying over my house. The wind is blowing in the wrong direction. I wish the planes would take off the other way. Now they're taking off over my house. Now banks, banks are rich. They don't need to be charging their customers these small amounts of money. Um, you know, banks are, are, are a business. They use your money to make money for themselves. Did you know that? The banks, when, when you put money into a bank, they, they take your money and they invest it and they make money for themselves. Okay, so it's like a business that is, that is always increasing. If every Canadian went to the bank and tried to take out their money, they wouldn't be able to because they don't have the money, right? They know everybody won't do it at the same time. So, so they invest most of the money and they make money for themselves. So if you choose to bank with RBC, you're actually helping their business. So there's no reason for them to charge you 30 bucks a month just to have an account. So in my opinion, that's a bad business. That's uh, they're nickel and diving their customers. But uh, if you're an investor, you know, you can actually own, uh, you can buy stocks and you can buy some RBC stock and you might get rich, right? In the future, I'll make a video on how to, how to buy stocks here in Canada. But uh, in this lesson, I just wanna, just wanna teach you about, about checking accounts. But if you want to do that, that's a good way to do it. It's a business. It's important to remember banks are businesses, just like universities, right? A university wants your money. They don't care about you. They just want your money. Well, it's the same with banks. So that's why I think banks should offer free accounts because you're actually helping them and they're screwing you over by charging you 30 bucks a month. Okay, so remember, the most benefits for the least amount of money. That's what we want. Okay, so we can sort of forget about RBC because they don't have any free accounts. Now, oh, I was going to mention right here with these two accounts, they're two worst accounts. They, it says here, no monthly fee with multi-product rebate. So maybe it would be possible to get one of these accounts for free. But, you know, I did some research. I tried to find what the multi-product rebate is. Like, I guess that means if you have, if you have a lot of products with RBC, then they'll give you this account for free. But I tried to find out what those products are and I couldn't find that information on their website. It might be like uh, if you have insurance, if you have home insurance or car insurance with RBC, then, then maybe they'll give it to you for free. I don't know. But it doesn't matter because these are the two worst accounts we want. We are looking for a really good bank account for free right? We want that $30 one for free, but they're not going to give it to us for free. Okay, so let's move on to Scotiabank. Okay, so it looks like Scotiabank has three checking accounts that they offer. Okay, one is called the Scotia One checking account. That's their best one. And then here we have the basic banking plan and the basic banking account. Now that's confusing. You know, when I looked at this, I thought, what? That's just, that's just weird naming basic banking plan and basic banking account. Both of these are accounts. So why, why use the same word basic banking? Why use the same for both of them? It's just weird. This one is cheaper than that one. It's just a bit confusing. So whoever, whoever named these accounts did a bad job in my opinion, because it's just confusing. Okay. So let's take a look at the, the best one, which is the Scotia one checking account. Okay, um, now this one is free. Well, it's $13.95 a month, but if you have a minimum balance of $4,000, then you get it for free. Okay, so here it's good. We have the minimum balance, 4,000 bucks, and you get a free account. Okay, now let's see what this account offers. Unlimited transactions. Great, that's what we want. We want unlimited, right? But look at this. 
two free Interact e-transfers per month. Hmm. Two, a lot of the other bank accounts in Canada offer unlimited e-transfers. Do you know what e-transfers? E-transfer is a very good system here in Canada where you can send money by email. Okay, so let's say I have an account with Scotiabank and you have an account with Scotiabank or any other of the Canadian banks, then I can just, if you give me your email address, I can I can send you money. It's, it's very easy and then you just deposit the money into your bank account, right? So it's a very easy way, it's a good way and they only offer two free transactions. Hmm, that's not good. But um, let's take a look at their cheapest account. Okay, their cheapest account is the basic banking account. And let's see, the monthly fee is $3.95 a month. Okay, so it's five cents cheaper than RBCs. Remember, RBCs was $4 a month. This one's five cents cheaper and you get 12, uh, you get 12 transactions as well. So it's the same. Now it says it's $0 after seniors discount. So if you are a senior citizen, if you're 65 years or older, then this account is free. Great. But if you're like me and you're under 65 years old, well, then you have to pay $3.95 a month. And look at this here. It says uh, minimum daily balance to waive the fee, not applicable. Okay, so it means, it means you have to pay $3.95 a month. It doesn't matter how much money you have in there, you're going to have to pay this amount. So that's not good. And you have to pay $1.25 for each transaction after the 12. Okay, so if you do like, let's say you do 20 transactions a month, then you're you're going over the limit by eight. Eight times 125. Boy, I need a calculator here. It's probably like 10 bucks. It's probably like 10 bucks, right? 10 bucks for uh, every month by going overboard. You know, by going over the 12, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's not great. So, I mean, Scotiabank, we have the, the best bank account is free for, for with $4,000, but I think we can find a better account yet. So, so we can just put Scotiabank on hold and let's take a look at CIBC. Okay. So CIBC, their best account is called the Smart Plus account. Hey, that sounds good. Smart, smart and plus two good words. Okay. Smart Plus account. That's $29.95 a month, okay, and it's free with a $6,000 minimum balance. So that's good, but $6,000, that's a lot of money, right? Uh, remember, Scotiabanks was only $4,000, and this you have to have $6,000 to get this fee waived, or if it's rebated. I don't know if it's waived or rebated, but either way, it doesn't matter. You'll get that back, okay? So let's take a look at, at what this account offers. Now, one thing you should you should pay attention to when you are choosing a bank here in Canada is is look at this. OK, when you use your debit card uh, in uh, another bank, what's going to happen? You know, every bank has, you know, you can use your debit card for free right in that bank. But what happens when you go to another country? What happens when you want to take money out, you know, from some other place? Are they going to charge you? Well, let's take a look at this, right? See, it says non-CIBC ATM withdrawals. Okay, so if you go to a different ATM in Canada, unlimited. That's great, right? Uh, in the US, unlimited. Outside Canada and the US, unlimited. That's great. So they, they're not going to charge you money for, for taking out money in other ATMs. Now, other ATMs might charge you but CIBC is not going to charge you. For example, uh, I, I went to Thailand uh, last winter, right? And, and my bank didn't charge me any money because I have a good account, right? So I didn't get charged, but the Thai banks, all the banks in Thailand charge 220 baht for each transaction, like for, to take money out of their ATMs. And that's like, that's almost $10. It's a lot of money. Right, the Thai banks charge that, but at least CIBC is not going to charge you money. Nobody wants to be charged for these little things, right? $5, $10. It makes people nervous when they don't know. That's why you should check, right? Read all the features of your bank account. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now, right? We're looking at this. Good. CIBC is not going to charge us 
any money when we go overseas. That's great. Okay, so uh, so CIBC is looking pretty good so far. Now let's take a look at the basic, their cheapest account. Okay, their cheapest account includes 12 transactions. 12, just like the other ones, right? And its monthly fee is $3.90. <laughs> so it's five cents cheaper than Scotiabank's and another five cents cheaper, like 10 cents cheaper than, than RBC's, right? So $3.90 a month and there is no minimum balance. So, so there's no way you can avoid this fee. You have to pay $3.90 every month. Okay, and it's $1.25 for each additional transaction, right? Again, if you're making more than 12 a month, which a lot of people do, a lot of people make transactions every day, then you're gonna be hit with, you know, might have to pay like 10 bucks or more every month just to have this account. Okay, so your monthly fee won't just be $3.90, it'll be more like maybe 15 bucks, right? And that's not that's not good. So um, let's take a look at, at Bank of Montreal. Great, so far CIBC was looking okay, right? But Bank of Montreal, let's see if that's any better. So their premium account is their best account. It's a good word for an account. A premium makes you feel like a like you're a king, a premium bank account. Okay, look at this, welcome offer. $300 plus access to an exclusive 2.85% savings rate. Okay, so 300 bucks, they're saying they're going to give you $300 if you open up this account with them. Wow, a loud plane flying over my house again. I hate those planes. Okay, so $300, but look at this. See this little asterisk here? This little star thing is called an asterisk. You should always click on those to see what the fine print is. Okay, so what is the fine print? Let's see here. Set up one recurring direct deposit from your employer or the government or your pension. Okay, so what this is saying is they're not just going to give you $300 if you open up an account. You have to set up direct deposit from your job you need your paycheck to be directly deposited into your your bank account for two months, at least two months before December 31st, 2019, okay? And then they're gonna give you the $300. So, you know, maybe that's, maybe you, maybe you're gonna do that anyway, right? If you're gonna use this as your main bank account and you're gonna get your job money directly deposited into your account, then that's great, then you could get Three hundred dollars, but when I see stuff like this, I always uh, I always get a bit nervous because I think, well, like, am I going to get it? Am I not going to? Am I going to do something wrong? Right. So, so for me, I don't really worry about this kind of stuff. It's just it's just a promotion, right? Like sometimes banks say, here, we'll give you an iPad, we'll give you a free iPad, but you have to do this, 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 this. I don't like that kind of business. It just makes me nervous. But uh, it's possible to get. $300 from BMO, or I think uh, RBC said an iPad. So you could maybe get an iPad from, from RBC. For me, I would rather just get a good bank account, simple, and then just buy an iPad with my own money. Okay, so let's see, what do we get with this? $30 a month, that's how much it costs, but it's free with a minimum balance of $6,000. Okay, so again, it's similar to CIBC, right? $6,000 and you get it for free, and you get unlimited transactions per month. That's great. Okay, so so BMO is looking looking pretty good. It's nice that they have this feature, 6,000. I mean, 6,000 is a lot of money, right? It would be nice if it was a bit lower, like maybe 4,000, like, like Scotiabank. But, um, you know, that's why you need to compare these banks to find, maybe you have 6,000. If you have $6,000, all of these banks, you, you, you can, you're probably gonna be, be in pretty good shape. But if you only have like 500 bucks or a thousand bucks, then uh, then maybe you should pay attention to the monthly fee because that's really gonna it's really gonna irritate you. I am happy I don't pay a monthly fee with my bank. Okay, so let's take a look at the at their cheapest Bank of Montreal's cheapest account. It's called the Practical Account. Again, great name for a bank account. Okay, it's four dollars for the monthly fee, and you get 12 transactions. Okay. So it's pretty much the same. We're seeing a pattern here, right? The cheapest accounts are like $4 a month 
and you get 12 transactions. And the most expensive accounts are about 30 bucks a month. And, uh, you know, it might be free if you have a minimum balance of a few thousand dollars, right? So now let's move on to TD. Okay, last but not least, TD. TD's best bank account is called the TD All-Inclusive Banking Plan. Hey, all-inclusive. That's a good name. We like, you know, all-inclusive, right? That's great. So let's take a look. What, what is it? Okay, it costs $29.95 a month. Okay, it's the monthly fee. Same as the other ones we've seen. But look at this. Minimum monthly balance to, uh, for monthly fee rebate. Only $5,000. Okay, so not $6,000 like CIBC and, and BMO. We only need, we only need $5,000. Okay, $5,000, wow, so it's a little bit less. That's good. Okay, we get unlimited transactions a month, and here we got uh, a fee rebate on select TD credit cards. Okay, a fee rebate. Now, some of the other banks do this as well. Okay, so if you're going to get a credit card, it's good to pay attention to this because most good credit cards here in Canada cost between $100 and $150. Okay, you know, they all have different names like the, the Elite Credit Card or the, you know, the Travel Plus or the, I don't know, all these different names. If you want to get one of those credit cards, it's going to cost money. And if you have the highest bank, like the best bank account with TD, look at that. It says you're going to get it rebated. Like it, it says on select TD credit cards. So you have to click on this and find out, you know, which which credit cards, but uh, but I think you're going to get the fee rebated, probably $120 or $150 rebated. So, you know, maybe you can save more than $100 a year. That would be great. So, I'm going to give the award to this bank account, the TD All-Inclusive Bank Account, right? Because let's take a look at it again. You only need $5,000 to get the free account, right? With BMO and with CIBC, you needed six thousand dollars well here you only need five thousand and you get unlimited everything but like i said it's good to check out all the details um to see what is best for you i'm not trying to make this video to tell you what to do because you should do your own research right maybe there's something special that you want in a bank um but just from a basic a superficial analysis this one is the best so i'll give a I give a round of applause to TD for the all-inclusive banking plan, the best bank account in Canada. Hey, they should be paying me to say that. This is free advertising for TD. Hmm, before making this video, I should have called TD and said, hey, if you give me $10,000, I'll make your bank account the winner. <laughs> They'd probably say, who is this? We don't know who you are. Get out of here. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I think this is the this is the best bank. But now look at this. Okay, let's look at their worst account. Right, the TD Minimum checking account. It's a good name. Minimum. Very straightforward, easy to understand. Unlike Scotia Bank, basic, basic. Right. It's good if uh, if it's good if bank accounts have have good clear names so you can understand what you're getting into. Great. So this is their their minimum bank account. So look at this, three ninety five for a month, right? That's the monthly fee. But two thousand minimum monthly balance for fee rebate. Wow. So it's possible to get this account for free too, and you get twelve transactions, just like all the other ones, right? So wow, you can get a free uh, a free worst account. Okay. So so TD has the best best account but it also has the best worst account. Okay, so that's very good. So you can get a free bank account for $2,000. Uh, you know, $2,000, if you have a $2,000 minimum balance. So if you're coming to Canada, if you're new to Canada, and you have $2,000, you could get a free account, right? This fee is going to be waived. But you know what? Another good thing about TD is, look at this, it says TD Student Checking Account. They have a bank account for students. Wow, I didn't see this on the other bank's websites. Or maybe they had them, maybe I just didn't look hard enough. But this was very clear on the TD website. They have a, a student account. And look at that, no monthly fee. It's free and you get 25 transactions a month. And free e-transfers, unlimited. 
right? Wow, that's really good. So if you're a student, this is a great, a great option for you. So I commend TD for offering a free checking account, a nice checking account to students for free because I've been a student and I know students don't have any money. So it's good to have a free account. Keep okay, not only that, but TD also has a youth account. Look at this under 18 for people who are under 18, they can open a bank account. Look at this. It says an ideal way to help your children learn the benefits of saving. Wow. That's good, right? Zero monthly fee. Amazing. Daily interest paid on every dollar. Doesn't say what the interest rate is. Probably really small. I'm sure it's less than 1%. Okay. Um, and unlimited debit transactions. Great. So unlimited transactions for free. If you are a kid. Wow. That is, that's awesome. So I think TD wins the, wins the award. I'm going to give the award to TD for having the best, best account, the best, worst account, the best account for students and the best account for kids. That's, that's awesome. So, you know, like I said, do your own research. If you come to Canada and you, you're looking for an account, but I mean, I did, if, if I were here in, if I were coming to Canada, right? Like you, um, I would, I would go with this because I've just done my research. I did my research making this video. Remember, we want a free account and we don't want to, uh, we, we, we don't, we don't want to have $6,000. Let's say we only want to have 5,000. If you have 6,000, it probably doesn't matter if you go with BMO or CIBC or TD. But if you only have 5,000, I think that's, uh, it's good for TD to, to offer that, uh, that means they're trying to be competitive, right? Uh, RBC didn't have any free accounts. They're not even trying to be competitive. When I called them, they didn't even sound like they wanted my business. <laughs> yeah, we don't offer any free accounts. Just get out of here, right? So, so yeah, it's good for companies to try to get people's business. So that's why I would say TD has the most attractive offering. So, um, too bad TD isn't sponsoring this video. Otherwise I could probably made some money. But if you want to practice sending e-transfers, then you can send me money to my email address here, madenglishtv at gmail.com. You can practice sending me some money. That would be good for me because then I get money. But I guess it would be bad for you because you lose money. Hmm, maybe that's not very good. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and uh, smash that like button if you love me. And I'll see you guys over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.